Hi guys, we're gonna do a lab today. Now, um, we're gonna do this lab in parts. So I'm going to um, do just one section of it right now and I will show you the process and then I'm going to show you the end result. So let's get started. So on this acetate sheet, I've got a grid of the compounds that I'm going to react. So this is going to, these are going to be the compounds that I'm going to react with these compounds. Today, I'm just going to do this row. So I'm going to react lead nitrate, lead two nitrate with various compounds. I'm putting two drops of lead nitrate on the sheet. Those little black dots are there to show you, to help us to pick out if there is a precipitate. Because remember, what's the clue of a chemical reaction? Precipitate, color change, gas given off, energy exchange. None of these are going to be gases. We're going to, these are going to, going to be all double displacement reactions and so we're going to see precipitates. All right, so my first compound I'm going to mix with the lead to nitrate is ammonium hydroxide. Oh, can you see what happened? It turned white, there's a precipitate. And then I'm going to mix the next drop of lead to nitrate with iron three chloride. Okay, there's another precipitate. The next reaction, sodium carbonate with lead to nitrate. Oh, white precipitate. So, so far, I've got a white precipitate, a brownish precipitate, a white precipitate, calcium chloride. gives another white precipitate, silver nitrate. Okay, nothing happening there. Well, that makes sense because lead nitrate plus silver nitrate, they can't switch partners because they would get the same thing. So no reaction there. Copper two sulfate. Oh, I got another white precipitate. And lastly, sodium phosphate. And another white precipitate. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera off and show you these closer. Oops, gotta go this way. Gosh dang it. All right, let me try to get the camera in here, right? Okay. Okay. That was the lab. Now I will also take a picture of these and send them to you so that you can, once again, write the balanced chemical equation. And I want you to, using your solubility rules, tell me which compound is the, is the precipitate on the product side. The reactants were both aqueous solutions, all of the um, reactions resulted in a precipitate, except for the silver nitrate, that was no reaction. So now your job is to write the reaction, figure out which one is the precipitate by putting an S behind that compound and balancing the equation. Okay, bye guys.